Good evening, everyone, and welcome to um, my study. Um, my name is Father Tamin. I am the vicar of the parish of St. George Enfield in Freezy Water. And welcome to our, um, you know, the daily live streaming called Thoughts for the Night. Um, today is um, on a Sunday, the 7th of um, the February, the 7th, the 7th of February, 2021. Gosh, time flies. <laughs> and then um, tonight we're going to offer the night prayer together. Um, warm welcome to um, the Genis. Good to see you. Um, let's see. Let me welcoming uh, you know the people. Good evening, Kathy. Um, who else? I can see some um, the names there. Hannah, <laughs> welcome. And Ronnie, welcome. And then Carol. Good to see you. Anna Maria. Good evening. To see um, our regular, um, you know, the visitors um, tonight. Um, I'm going to read um, Psalm 44, um, you know, today. I mean, it has a bit of, you know, um, verses, many verses, but probably I will only using, um, you know, verses 1 to 4. Um, good evening, everyone. Um, happy belated birthday yesterday. <laughs> I'm not going to ask um, you know, a man's age. <laughs> Good evening, Tracy. Welcome. Um, for today's um, the scripture reading, I'm going to just use one of the um, scripture readings, which is set um, already set for um, for the night prayer. Ah, oh. Good evening, Andrew. Welcome to see you. Always nice to see you, Andrew. Yeah. Okay, um, I don't know whether you have snow now or not, but I think the snow has arrived um, in the freezing water, but it is not heavy, um, the snow. But I think we have a pretty strong, um, you know, the wind. But what worries me most is not actually the snow, but wind, because um, as you know, we have the original, um, you know, the tiles um, in our church building. So if we have very strong wind, um, we need to, I need to be careful. You know, I have to actually check um, our church building from time to time. <laughs> 76, Carol said, Ron is 76. Gosh. Anna Maria said, I can't believe that, Carol. <laughs> but that's okay. Ron, don't worry, you're doing extremely well. I know I can say that. But anyway, dear my friends, um, whatever happens, I hope um, you don't have any sort of damage on your, um, on your house or on your cars or whatever. Uh, if you need to actually go out for a basic, you know, the shoppings um, the tomorrow, because temperature might drop down. In that case, some areas, some um, the street corners might be extremely, um, you know, the slippery. So when you go out, just make sure that you walk on the, on the right side. Don't walk where there is, um, you know, the shade there. Just make sure that you walk on the area where there is exposed by the sunshine. OK, so just be careful. And if you can stay um, at your home, that would be much, much better because I don't want to hear or to receive any message from any of you telling me, oh, I went out and I slipped and then just broke my ankles, whatever. You know, we don't want that. We don't want that. So um, we get it um, tonight um, before before the presence of our God. And then as I briefly mentioned it um, during the Mass, um, the season of Lent is fast approaching and then the next Sunday is probably the last Sunday just before we go to, um, to the season of Lent. So time flies and then it reminds me of um, the last year's Lent. As I briefly mentioned it, we were doing um, our Lent courses and then we were doing um, Lent lunches for those who know us. And we do um, Lent soup lunch, um, you know, during um, the season of Lent, five, four times. Um, but last year we did only once. We served only one and we had 46, I can't exactly remember how many actually we served, but we had 40 something, a quite good turn up. And then we had to actually shut everything down because of the COVID. And I cannot believe that that is a year ago already time flies. So um, still uh, we are here, lots of things happened and are still happening 
but whatever, whatever, you know, um, whatever happens to us, it's so important for us to carry on our worship, giving thanks to, to the Lord for all the provisions that, that He gives to all of us. So I'm going to invite all of you now to have a moment of quietness as we begin our complaint together. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. And our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you, before the whole company of heaven and one another, that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, and heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you with steadfast love would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night, tread on the foot our deadly foe that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, and Holy Spirit, by whose bread our souls are raised to life from death. And then tonight's psalm is taken from the Psalm 44. We have heard with our ears, O God, our forebearers have told us all that you did in their days, in time of old. How with your hand you drove out nations and planted us in and broke the power of peoples, and set us free. For not by their own sword did our ancestors take the land, nor did their own arm save them. But your right hand, your arm, and the light of your countenance because you were gracious to them. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. And then tonight's set scripture reading is taken from the first Peter, um, chapter 5, verses 8 and 9, which is one of the readings which is set for the complaint. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, is prowling round like a roaring lion, seeking for someone to devour. Resist him, strong in faith. Here ends the lesson. This Peter's reading, um, let me just say this. Um, I was, before I sit here and, and, and doing this night prayer, um, 
I was doing my presentation for tomorrow's、um, school assembly. I should have done that earlier today, but I wasn't able to do that, and I had a bit of you know a break, which is good.、Um, this month, the school assemblies, our RE topic, the main theme in the school is the friendship. So the last week we、um, we shared some thoughts and ideas about the friendship in between something between Paul and Ananias. You know the story of Paul. He was Saul. He was not a good guy at all, and then he was going to Damascus to actually persecute the church. And then he saw the vision and then became blind. You know the story, didn't you? And then when he arrived at Damascus, and then there was a someone called Ananias, and then in his vision, Jesus was God was telling Ananias, "Okay, well, you know, you need to go and see someone called Saul." What? I know so. I know him. He is a great danger to us. And then a voice said, "No, no, no! Don't worry. I picked him up. He's now praying. I'm going to use him for my mission." And then Ananias didn't actually say, "No, I can't do it, Lord." No, he accepted it.、Um, what the Lord told him to do. So Ananias went. To see a Paul, and of course, if there is a Saul, well, the persecutor of the church of the Christian church, and as someone who actually authorized the death of Stephen, oh, he deserved to die. That was a Saul, and then this Saul, now being blind, was sitting in front of Ananias. So Ananias arrived there, and he said, "Saul." No, he didn't say that. When he arrived, I think this is amazing. Ananias called him, "Brother Saul." Brother Saul. How, Ananias? I have no idea. I don't think if I were him, <laughs> I wouldn't be able to do that. Just arrived there, and then knowing who he is, but still because of he was sent by God Himself, and then he said, "Brother Saul." Blah 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 blah. God sent me to you. That was the first friendship that I shared. I don't know whether children. How much actually our children could actually get it, but I think they got the message. And then, then today I was preparing another story, and then this time, again about the friendship, and between Jesus and Peter. Now, this is the first letter of Peter. And I was explaining, I was putting some. Photos and, and everything to make a bit more approachable to the children. And then the story that I wanted to share with our children was this: Jesus and Peter, they were very close to each other. Of course, you know, Peter being the main, the first among his disciples, being the leader of disciples. Kind of doing some elders' role among them, and then the Peter was a good friend of Jesus, yeah, in children's term, and then they were good friends. But suddenly, Peter betrayed Jesus. The betrayal came in, in between Jesus and Peter. You will betray me before the cock crows three times. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh no! I'm not going to do that. No, you don't know me, Lord. And he betrayed. Then he bitterly, bitterly wept. But still, again, Jesus telling him, "Feed my sheep." 
there's great depth in two men's friendship, the friendship between Jesus and and Peter. And then this Peter is the one who experienced that bitterness of betrayal, the terrible pain of realizing what he actually put it to him. And also he experienced the enormous amount of generosity and then the sense of the relief when he realized had realized that Jesus had forgiven him. I think Peter must have full of emotional stuff in his mind. And then we know that Peter was not particularly well educated man, so we don't expect him to be so good at articulations. And then therefore he must have lots of things and then just put it something in his way. And then this Peter is telling us in this way, be vigilant, be sober, because your adversary, the devil, is walking around you. Think about the way he put it. The devil is looking for a prey. And then resist him strong in faith. Well, there's no, <laughs> nothing much explanation is going here, isn't it? It is just simply saying, there is a devil, careful, just resist, have faith, done. <laughs> Whereas Paul will explain that from the story, he will actually begin from the story of you know, Moses and, and you know, all the prophets there. And then he tried to persuade the people that what you are actually looking for, the Messiah in this context, is actually the one who persecuted. And then he will actually try to prove that. But Peter simply say, there is a devil, be careful, faith, <laughs> resist him, done. <laughs> but I still feel the voice of Peter it's so relevant. And in a way, it has its strength. It's very persuasive in a way, without any explanation, because we can see and we can feel how the Peter felt. There is a sense of urgency. And then these letters of Peter is for the people's benefit. And he was doing his best within his ability to tell what he thinks right. And then therefore, be sober, be vigilant. That becomes an alarming sound, not just one of those stories that we might easily forget. So dear my brothers and sisters tonight, I think it is all about our inner, our insight, something that we have, our mind or our spirit or our soul, whatever, you know, the words that you use, it is something that we have inside. And then this is something that we actually tackle by ourselves. May tonight, even if you hear lots of strong wind, woo, like that, don't worry too much. Let's have a good reflection on what Peter said. How can we resist the devil? And how can we stand strong in faith? You and I, each and every one of us, we are all different. And there will be no one answer to actually answer all the questions. But I'm sure... The Lord will give us, each and every one of us, the different answers or different blessing. So I pray that tonight we may have a good night's sleep, good reflections, 
and we may begin to think about you know things that we haven't been actually being able to think um, for a long time. So may God bless you and me and everybody who are trying to find a bit of faith in our heart. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye and hide me under the shadow of your wings. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep may rest in peace. And let us pray. O visit this place, O Lord, we pray, and drive far from it the snares of the enemy. May your holy angels dwell with us and guard us in peace. And may your blessing be always upon us, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Enlighten our darkness, Lord, we pray, and in your great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of only, love of your only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. And we say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep, for you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand, and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ, and come with the dawning of the day, and make yourself known in the breaking of the bread. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen. Now, thank you, my brothers and sisters, for joining me um, for um, tonight for the light prayer. I hope you enjoy the rest of the day. Um, as I briefly mentioned, that I need to actually finish my presentation and then I need to actually do a um, recording. I have to make a video. <laughs> and I, have, I, sh oh, I should have done that, but yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll manage to finish, um, do that as soon as possible. 
Um, hope you enjoy the rest of the day and, and have a good night's sleep. And then if you need to um, move your car or to drive tomorrow morning, just make sure that you wake up a bit earlier than usual. And you know, the scrapping and then all the ice. And I hope your car start the engine without fail. <laughs> God bless you, dear my friends. I'll see you tomorrow night. Bye for now. Good night. Oh, by the way, if you're a member of PCC, don't forget we have a PCC meeting at 8 o'clock. What a joy. Bye for now. Bye-bye.